Hey friends, um, welcome to June, yay! I apologize I didn't get May's readings done. Some of you were kind of like sending emails or leaving comments on different videos saying, what the fudge, where is May? Um, and if you follow on the Facebook page, that's a better place to keep updated with what's going on. I'm going to make a video about, um, you know, if, for those of you who have followed me for a long time, you know that I used to be super, super consistent and like ahead of the game. Um, but the last like year and a half to two years has been complete upheaval and like just crazy shit in my life. So I'm going to make a video about that later because there's like a lot of spiritual like lessons and things in that that a lot of people will benefit from, including um, like, you know, how to predict and navigate your way through different things that come up if you were to read your own tarot cards and like, anyway whatever. The thing I wanted to say before we started reading is that moving forward, like after June, yeah, I would say like probably about August of this year, everything, all the ducks should be in a row and things will get back on track so you can look forward to that. Uh, but in advance of that, I wanted to let you know, for those of you who are intending to purchase um, video readings, throughout like the first two weeks of June, there might be a delay in those. I um, am having a nose surgery, my nose is broken and it's causing sinus infections a lot. So I'll have like this big thing on my face. And so um, like a little, uh, what do they call that, a splint? And then maybe some black eyes after that. So I don't know how up for video reading I'm going to be uh, straight out the gate. But I will be keeping on top of email readings and phone readings. So there's that. Um, now, this month, what the reading looks like for you guys is what you can expect in work with your money. Because sometimes those are related, sometimes they're not. In your love life, whether you're single, coupled, or in an on-again, off-again relationship, like an undefined relationship. Maybe it's new and it's not Facebook official. Maybe, um, you know, you're polyamorous. Maybe you're the other woman in a uh, relationship or, I guess, the other man, you know, whatever. Maybe it's a sugar daddy situation or a, su a sugar baby situation. What do they call it when the guy, leave it in the comments if you know, when the guy, is it a kept man? If it's the dude that has a sugar mama? Anyway, yeah, if you know, let me know because I'm curious. And then we're also going to be looking at, you know, just kind of socially, like what do your relationships look like or what do you need to be aware of for this month, um, whether that is friends or family kind of situations. We're going to talk about your lucky day, um, which chakras you need to work on, what is your crystal of the month, uh, so many things in these readings this month. So um, let's just get started with it. Pisces, welcome to June. I am really excited to see how your reading is going to turn out because I did Taurus just before you and it is such good news and so fantastic. Springs are all about new beginnings. So um, let's just see what we have going on. So in regards to work, what can you expect this month? And they're saying that whatever you put in, you will be paid back, you know, six, seven, eight, ten times rewarded for your efforts. Will you see those rewards instantly? They say no. But, well, for some of you, you might, or you might hear of them. For some of you, the reward comes in the form of um, compliments, <laughs> but for the majority of you, it's going to come through as new opportunities. So pay attention to things that you hear. Um, pay attention to signs. You know, if your intuition, all of a sudden, like you're just driving around, you're letting your mind wander, and all of a sudden you go, oh, I wonder about, you know, this business. Go online as soon as you get home and look and see what kind of career opportunities they have because it's a good, uh, a good way for you to propel your career path forward, maybe to try something new, to get huge promotions, you know, better benefits, something like that. For, for um, a lot of you, they're saying it isn't about necessarily leaving what you're doing. It's not about changing jobs, though. It's more about, like, new ideas on how to do things. Uh, maybe, for example, if you're in sales, you go, you know what? Maybe a better way to sell this product 
is to pitch it this way. And this is like a brilliant idea that you have. And then, you know, all of a sudden, come July, you're getting those commission checks for all the work that you put in in June. And they are way bigger than you thought they were. You're like on top of getting the commission for the increased sales that you have because of this new opportunity or idea that you had, because of the work and the labor that you put in, you know, um, you also get some sort of a bonus or an award. It's that sort of energy, okay? So um, fantastic for Pisces, but the only thing that I would say is that if you are not putting in more effort, if you are not being more generous with your time and your energy, okay, you will not see those benefits because this is in direct cor um, correlation to the amount of effort and work that you put in it, okay? And it's if you're going to put it in there like expecting an award or expecting a huge payoff, it's maybe not going to work as much for you. It's just more about like this mindset of like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to try because that reflects well on me. Um, if that's your motivation, like generosity and kindness and, you know, doing the right thing, it's kind of based on your integrity, then you shall see the um, rewards financially for a lot of you, actually. Fantastic. So in regards to your money, they're saying, oh, man, this is awesome. Um, for those of you, you know, that are following that guidance in regards to you get out of it what you put into it, you will be overflowing with joy, love, and happiness in regards to your money situation. Now, I'm not an astrologer. I don't know tons about astrology, uh, but I feel like I did hear once that Pisces aren't necessarily the best with money. Um, so to be in this situation, I mean, if that's even true, if you know a lot about of astrology, leave it in the comments so I can find out if that's the case. But, you know, um, if, if that is the case, then, hey, awesome. This could be like even a gambling win, perhaps. They say it's not necessarily because you've manifested anything. It's more because of, you know, work and money don't always go together. Uh, but in this specific instance, in the month of June, they're saying that it's because of the effort that is put in. Um, you'll really love your financial situation if, you know, maybe you made efforts in budgeting. Now you're starting to see the benefits of that. You know, your savings account, it has grown and, you know, you're able to um, do whatever you were saving for. Like you've, you're achieving that goal, okay? That's what it kind of says here. It's not because you've attracted some sort of miracle, so it's less likely to be like a lottery win or a gambling win. It's about what you put in, okay? Or it could even just be like, I'm really, really proud of myself for what I've done in, you know, the beginning weeks of June. By the time you get to the end of June, you're starting to see the payoff. Okay. In regards to your social relationships, whether they be with family members or friends, they're saying um, you can expect that things are very safe, solid, secure, cemented. Um, for some of you, this might be some sort of a promise or, um, you know, an actual contract. This could be um, signing up for something with, some, with someone, you know. It's kind of a weird energy where it could be like, um, my friend and I are opening a business together. My sister and I are buying a cabin together. Um, I promise to hold you accountable to um, go for a walk every day to help lower your blood pressure. Like, I'm going to be there with you, and we're going to do this together. We're going to hold each other accountable, you know, to our goals. It's that kind of an energy. It's um, a really fantastic month for things like that. Uh, they say that, you know, there's some sort of issue going on potentially in some of your relationships where there is some arguing, some fighting. Um, specifically for one person, it's more of a passive-aggressive sort of a deal where it's, um, 
you know, somebody's stomping around, shutting cabinets, like making mumbling like random stuff like well I guess I just do everything myself around here kind of a bullshit situation uh, but for the majority of you I think this is something verbal um, and it hurts and it stings and it feels like shit but the thing is is that you've built up a thick enough skin to not take it as personal as maybe you used to. And the fact of the matter is that this is actually a good thing. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't seem good. But there is a higher purpose for that. And so that's, um, and, and I'm like, well, what is the higher purpose? And they go, well, it's spiritual. <laughs> it's for your spiritual well-being. Um, it's in order to sort of drive you in a direction to reconnect to your spirituality. We don't do so well, um, you know, praying and saying like, hey, you know, thanks for all the blessings. We tend to turn to the spirit world for help when we're suffering. It's like, oh, I need a tarot reading like right now because I have zero certainty about what's next. I'm going to lose my freaking mind, right? Or um, I pray because I really need help through this situation. Um, or I, you know, you get, you get the point. We don't need a thousand metaphors here. Um, the point is, is that it's going to force you in the direction of connecting to the spirit realm in whichever way you tend to do that, whether that's through yoga, meditation, um, tarot readings, prayer, doesn't matter the modality you select, whatever feels good for you, um, that social situation that is difficult or hard is created in order to push you back to connecting with that spirit world. And so it wouldn't surprise me if when this video comes out, not a tremendous amount of Pisces watch it, and then as the month progresses, later into June and this shit starts going down, all of a sudden the views spike a little bit. Um, so if you're watching it early, good, you can get ahead of it and maybe you can take advantage of having this knowledge and sort of decrease the severity of whatever kind of, um, you know, argument or situation you'd be coming into. Um, being careful with your communication or communicating in very loving ways or um, kind of knowing when it's a good time to just zip it. Okay, uh, in regards to your love life, if you are a single Pisces, they're saying, good job kind of rearranging your emotions and your thought patterns in order to find a good balance in which you are ready to accept new love into your life. For some single Pisces, that might not be the case because of the general reading, uh, but it seems that... If you had just gotten out of a relationship, which I think this is specific to a handful of you watching this, um, maybe historically you would do some sort of a rebound situation in order to try to forget about or not feel the pain associated to the separation from your previous partner. But maybe now you have more emotional maturity and better ability to process how you're feeling and to kind of come to terms with it and being okay with it. And you don't necessarily need that this month. That would be a difference. That would be a sign of growth. A lot of you have done a lot of emotional growth. And so you can take the ups and downs better. And for those of you who have been single for a while, they're just saying, you know, you're better emotionally equipped to sort of attract in what it is you want. You're more okay with being single, which means you're not putting out accidentally the subconscious um, desperation type of energy, which actually keeps our perfect partner away from us. It doesn't help us attract it. We think that we're attracting it because we're thinking, thinking, thinking about how much we want a partner, but the universe is picking up on our sentiments and drawing into us you know, more of what we feel. And so this balance is a really good thing if you want to draw in a healthy relationship moving forward. Anything else for singles? They're like, yeah, um, for some of you, 
this might be the kind of month where you really don't have to put in much effort and somebody just shows up. There's really nothing for you to do this month except for not worry about the fact that you're single. Um, it seems like a lot of stories that we hear about super happy couples, they're like, yeah, um, I was just like living my life, like totally at peace, and this person shows up out of nowhere. Yeah, because they attracted it unconsciously with their positive vibration and balanced emotions. For those of you who are in couple situations, they're like, well, nobody's leaving that situation this month. Um, and they say, you know, in fact, for some of you, this might be a month in which you fall back in love with your partner or you feel incredibly, um, you, you like get a crush on your partner again. You feel an overabundance of joy or love for them and they're like and it's not necessarily anything um, that you manifested it just kind of happens and it's adorable and it's amazing for those of you in undefined relationships on again off agains um, not official or you know third party situations polyamorous they're saying this is a lucky month especially when it comes to affection but having these um, people in your life actually helps you to be a lot more lucky and um, to in other areas of your life you know, this person might help attract, because of their vibration, something magical into your life in terms of career or in terms of um, opportunity. And they're saying, you know, having a focus on these types of relationships is going to be a very good thing because it helps you to be very clear-minded. They're saying, now... The issue is that for some of you, it's not necessarily a happy situation. You're not feeling super happy. And then for others of you, it might be. And um, others of you are not really thinking about these situations at all. They're not a tremendous um, priority for you. And, and they're saying, like, regardless of which type of person or how the energy might flow, and you could be all three of those throughout the month of June, they're like, no matter what, the point is that if you are able to be very honest with yourself and with the other parties involved and um, non-defensive, if you're super, super open, then you will experience a lot of luck due to those relationships. Even if those relationships um, end up ending, it would be like it ends for a really good reason, that something amazing happens like right after for you, okay? Now... Um, is there anything else that you might need to know? And they go, some of the, well, for some of you, um, it isn't right after that the blessing comes, but for a lot of you it is, but they go, it's not like literally after night. That's what they're saying. Okay. Now, um, they're saying that the affirmation that you want to use this month is I get the help that I need when I need it from various sources. My support system is strong and it is loving. Fantastic. So make sure, like I said, you know, you're not being defensive. You're not being closed off. You're being super open, even if you're not one of those people in an on again, off again, you know, undefined relationship. Just socially, this is what you want to be doing. Now, your lucky day of the month is actually the fourth. Um, and then your chakra to focus on is the crown chakra. And so this would be like a white light energy that comes through the top of your head and it kind of clears and cleanses everything. That's where you want to have your focus on, like more on that spiritual world. And so, hold on a second. Stop shaking the table or I'm in a spaz. Mom. mom what? Mom, yes or no. Yes or no what? Yes, you can have that. But you've sabotaged my reading here. Well, okay, but it could have waited. We talked about it. Um, okay, so anyway, the the support system that you have is strong and it's loving. And that's why we started in the beginning of this reading talking about how you need to reconnect with your sp spirituality, okay? Now, your color energy for the month is, not surprisingly, violet. Violet is a very spiritual color, often connected to the third eye. Some people connect that to the crown chakra. Um, but what it's talking about here is creating a balanced life, okay? Now, what they're saying is with this number here, the four and the five, 
is they're saying things might be seeming really great, like they're super stable and predictable, and then chaos ensues, right, with the five, and that might be in relation to, you know, your social relationships or your family relationships, but a four plus a five is a nine, which is about, okay, but those situations are not permanent, they end and then new beginnings come. And so this violet energy is talking about how, you know, balance is very important, which is probably why they talked about the crown chakra, because starting at the top and working your way down, typically we want to like clear and work on our chakras from the base up. But if you're taking energy in through the top of your head, imagining a white light that goes all the way down to your feet and even through that, you know, into the ground, you're balancing and clearing your entire aura and all of the chakra systems. Um, so what they say with this is that the point is with the violet color, um, it will clear away things like insomnia, mental clutter. Um, f for some people, like psychological problems or like unhealthy ways of thinking is one. It helps your eyes, epilepsy, actually your general balance, so also your hearing then. Um, it increases your psychic senses, so you'll be a little bit more intuitive helps you to release karma from the past, helps you to get over things. Um, and as a result of that, because of that, you know, things were going okay and then they hit chaos, but like that's gonna end. The point is that the endings always create new beginnings and the new beginnings are blessings. And so with this violet color, um, it's like, okay, we're gonna go through a little bit of stuff, not tons of it, just a little bit of stuff. Um, it's not like a major, major, thing, just a little spat here, and we're going to release it, we're going to let that stuff go, and then as a result, we're going to create like this balanced way of looking at things, like kind of how I said for single Pisces, you know, you're super balanced with your with your emotions, therefore blessings are just going to start flowing, flowing, flowing to you. Um, this is very much a color energy of gifts, right, like wonderful things coming your way. Um, huge blessings. So the affirmation for this one is, uh, help me to, uh, uh, please help, wait, please allow me to create a balanced and harmonious life full of blessings and joy. But remember, the key to that is releasing fear and stressors and finding that balance, okay? Um, our kind of theme is grace, and it, they're saying that grace of the body, mind, and spirit is going to be important. You want to, um, like I said, I guess just balance it all out that way. This would, I don't know where this is coming from. Um, it, maybe it's specific to one or two people, but it would be a really good month for a chiropractic adjustment to create that balance, balancing your hormones, balancing um, your sleep schedule out or your diet or, you know, even your water intake sort of a energy. I know that's kind of weird. Um, the next thing that they want to tell you is pay attention to synchronicities. Look at all of these purple shades here, right? Like connected to that aspect of your intuition. With the numbers here, an eight, okay? Eight is about like things happen happening quickly. It's about abundance. It's about like blessings and joy. The seven is about those things just expanding and becoming more and more and more over time. And so they're saying pay attention to synchronicity so you jump on the opportunities to um, – like really, really receive these things. Be super open to receive. An eight plus a seven is a 15. One is a new beginning after a five, which is like hardship, arguments, disputes, like things kind of just get like a little bit messed up. A one plus a five is a what? It's a six, the number of balance. I couldn't make this stuff up. Like I couldn't plan this better if I did it intentionally. Um, so anyway, the... The thing is with this, it's like, remember how I talked about what our sentiment is, is what we attract in the singles portion? We want to be like at the highest vibration possible, eliminating that fear, that worry, that stress, like I mentioned, with the violet color here. And um, surprise, it's violet. I mean, that's not a surprise, obviously. 
because nothing in the universe is an accident. So what they're saying here with that is that um, we don't have to try to control or dictate how blessings come to us. And that's where a lot of us mess it up with the law of attraction. It, let's say that I want to be a movie star, okay? Um, I might try to visualize that. But where I might screw it up is not just looking at the, is that I'm looking at the end goal, but I'm not just doing that. I am trying to dictate how I get there. I might make up a story in my mind where like I go to an event and um, I just happen to bump in to a um, movie producer and they're like, hey, you have a really interesting look. Uh, I need somebody who looks like you for this part. And then you know, they create this movie and then it's like, you know, an overnight success and I get an Oscar and you, like you may be trying to like dictate how the blessings come to you. That would be an extreme example. Um, it could be anything. Uh, but the point is, is it's not up to us how the universe gives us things. We don't need to worry about how or when. Everything happens in divine timing in the right way. So if we release our fears or our need to control things, if we don't stress about it, if we're just like, this is what I want, I know that I want this and I feel good about it and I just like trust the universe to give it to me, then they will. Same thing, like for example, if you wanted to make more money, um, a lot of us are like, I wanna make um, you know, $10,000 more this year. So then we start thinking about, well, how can I get this promotion and how can I this and that and whatever. And maybe the way that you were going to attract it has nothing to do with your current job. Maybe it's a little side gig that you built, but you don't really pay attention and to the synchronicities and follow that guidance because you're so focused on trying to dictate how you get that end result that you're not open to receiving the blessings that the universe is trying to push at you. Does that make sense? So that's what we want to do. Um, and it, okay, so yeah, I have faith that synchronicity will lead me to where I need to be. And so we have to have this big, strong trust in, again, kind of coming back to that high priestess card, in the universe, in God, in spirit, you know, whatever you believe that force is. Um, our other energy here is expressing our creativity. Thank you, angels, for helping me to express my inner creator. Now, I want you to remember that it doesn't necessarily mean like creating music or art or growing a garden. Um, this can even be in correlation to that whole concept of like attracting the things that we want into our life. The universe, God, whatever, is basically saying, hey, here. Here, I want to give you awesome blessings, and if you can trust me, you can probably have them. Um, and so you are only limited as to the possibilities of what you can actually have and attract into your life by your ability to conceive it, right? We couldn't have had the light bulb, you know, back in um, 400 A.D., because nobody could even imagine that that would be a possibility. But then once somebody imagined, hey, um, what is this like electrical current? I wonder how we could use it to better our lives. Wouldn't it be cool if you could just turn a switch and things were illuminated, all of a sudden the light bulb was born. See what I mean? But if, and so this is a good example of why we need to release the past and things like that. Because if you're in a constant pattern of, you know, let's say, for example, shitty relationships. Oh, I always end up with somebody who is emotionally abusive. Okay, if you can't imagine how you would feel or what it would be like to be with somebody who is nurturing, if you're not okay with accepting you know, love in that way because you can't even conceive it because it has nothing to do with your um, experience, well, then you can't have it yet. You're not going to receive those blessings until you're in a place where you are open to receive it and where you can actually grow and get creative and um, very expansive with what it is that you believe can come into your life. And I know that got like really kind of like distant and out there, but the point is this month, is a very powerful month for you to think about what you want and to create new things. For example, maybe you want to start a new business or maybe you want to um, paint a mural and it ends up to be like the most beautiful thing you ever 
did or start a garden and like if you can imagine it blooming and growing and producing all of these like you know awesome vegetables or beautiful flowers or whatever then that can actually be the case so focusing on those aspects of creativity in a very spiritual way is a is a good thing and you know a lot of people will talk about um, some of us channel and we don't even know it, okay? Have you ever heard of like getting in the flow or getting in the groove? People will say like, oh, I don't want to stop right now because I'm already in that. And so that could be while you're writing, while you're cleaning, while you're anything. When you get in that flow, it's a, also another way to connect to the spirit world because they're working through you and that's in a way that through the crown chakra, they do cleanse your energy and create that balance in which you are able and open to receive the blessings that they have in store for you. Um, did I tell you your lucky day was the fourth? I think I did. Um, so your crystal of the month is malachite, okay? Isn't it pretty? So this one correlates to the heart chakra. Even though the heart chakra isn't necessarily our focus, we want to focus on that crown and getting everything balanced. But if you need help, like, releasing things, um, this is a good one for that. What the malachite does... Um, is it does help us to release things. It helps us to attract more abundance, more blessings, even financially. It helps us to work on things um, from a heart-centered place, like getting into that flow, as I mentioned. It helps us to find our life purpose. Um, it helps us to feel like connected to the universe at large, which is one of our goals, connecting to that spirit realm. Um, it helps us to accept our own uniqueness and differences and kind of use those as an advantage instead of help, instead of making us feel separate or weird. Our weirdness, like, okay, I want you to think about this for a second. Every single person who is like massively successful in one way or another is unique in one way or another, right? If you are a basic bitch, you're going to have a basic bitch life. Just saying. Nothing amazing or nothing extraordinary happens when you are completely ordinary, right? Just saying. Um, so uh, what else? This one might also, remember how I talked about like in your social arenas, there could be some disputes, arguments, stuff like that, but it is kind of for like a benefit. You might actually, um, some of you might be the ones starting that <laughs> argument, <laughs> but um, the malach and I bring this up because the malachite helps us to release traumas and um, you know issues from the past, like maybe they resurface, but then it helps to create this transformational energy of like growth and like things that get better for us. And so you know potentially it could be you saying to your sibling, "You always make me feel like an idiot, and it hurts my feelings, and it makes me." Um, not really want to be around you. Like, I always love you, but it makes me not want to be around you. And initially, they might be kind of defensive, right, and act like an asshole. But then as a result, even though they don't seem like they're um, really, they might say, whatever, douche, you're an idiot, <laughs> you know, and, and perpetuate that when you bring it up. However, you might notice that over time, they're a little more cognizant of it, even if they don't apologize, and they do that stuff a little bit less often or not at all. So this will help you um, to sort of release anxieties and fears. It, it helps you identify, really, what are my blockages and how do I move past them? And so if you're not yet in that emotionally balanced state, it'll help you to get there. Um, it helps you to appreciate beauty more and um, it makes you more sensual. It helps you find friends. It helps... Um, with balance of like karmic energies and justice and like encourages empathy and it helps you to um, feel safe in taking risks and helps you to learn new things and find new interests and hobbies, gets rid of bad juju, it even protects you from bad juju, it does a ton of shit. And so anyway, if you want one, they're on my website. Um, I will mention that if you order it, like, there's like a drop down menu that says like, hey, these are the Zodiac crystals. If you get one there, they will be um, smaller, but I do have larger ones like this also on the website, I believe. If not, if you don't see what you're looking for, shoot me an email because I probably have stuff, but I'm trying, I, one of my goals this month is to change the way that a lot of things appear or um, are 
done on the website and just to make it like a better experience for you guys. So I might not be super organized with the crystal stuff, but I do likely have them here and um, the prices might not be what they say. They might be less than that. So if you're not sure and you want one, let me know. But anyway, the re you can get one from your local crystal shop. But the reason why you might want one from me is because they're already cleansed. They come with an info sheet on how to care for them, which angels are associated to them, how they'll help you um, physically, like how to use them for your physical health, a huge video series on how to use them, which angels are associated to them, blah, blah, blah. So that is June. I love you so much, and I'm really excited to see kind of how um, these blessings start flowing to you. So if you're already in that state and starting to receive um, abundance and blessings, put them in the comments because I want to know how these are coming through for everybody. I suspect that um, for a lot of you, the financial types of blessings might not start coming until about halfway through June or towards the end of June, but um, other blessings might be coming first. So my own curiosity kind of wants to know how this flows for you. Love you so much and I will see you in July. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!